A volcano erupted in Rock Stromboli Island in southern Italy. Pictures posted on social media show a dense eruption plume rising at least one kilometer above the summit including incandescent material ejected to several hundred meters height. Lava flowed from the volcano into the sea along the Sierra del Fuoco, a depression on the island which serves as a major tourist attraction for the island. Stromboli is one of the most active volcanoes in the world, renowned for its regular, but normally minor, eruptions that send lava oozing from vents inside its crater. It has been active for thousands of years. With an area of 12.6 square kilometers, the island represents the upper third of the volcano. The minor eruptions which are often visible from the island and surrounding sea have given rise to its nickname of the Lighthouse of the Mediterranean. Recall, some days ago Stromboli erupted. That time lava emerged from two openings at heights of 510 meters and 485 meters, respectively. These flows reached the sea, forming a lava delta. This situation has led to numerous cancellations of reservations during the peak tourism season, affecting the island's significant income source. Sì, poi ha ripreso un po' tra dicembre e febbraio, ma non era più la stessa cosa. E la bocca nuova ormai... Faceva solamente esplosire un po'. No, ma c'era, c'era a febbraio c'era ancora la colata, ma la bocca nuova ormai era, era, aveva una piattaforma, non era più una cascata. No, no. E si dove si riempie la scuola? E si era appena aperta. Oh mio Dio. The 2024 Paris Olympics officially begins today with world leaders arriving in the French capital, but the country's rail network has been disrupted by arson attacks. The incident is predicted to impact an estimated 800,000 passengers. The attacks will affect its Atlantic, northern and eastern lines. Arson attacks were started to damage our facilities, it added. Traffic will be heavily disrupted and a large number of trains will have to be cancelled, according to the operator. French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal called the attacks prepared and coordinated acts of sabotage. Our intelligence services and law enforcement are mobilized to find and punish the perpetrators of these criminal acts, he wrote in a statement on X. France's state railways company SNCF called the disruption a massive attack aimed at paralyzing the high speed line network. In a post on X, SNCF said, a large number of trains were diverted or cancelled, and asked, all travelers who can to postpone their trip and not go to the station. The railway operator said the disruption hit Atlantic, Northern and Eastern high-speed lines, with damage caused to several of its facilities. SNCF said one of the acts was foiled. Speaking to BFM TV, Jean-Pierre Ferrandu, the CEO of the SNCF says that it was France and the French people that were attacked today. I am thinking of all the French who won't be able to go on holiday today, or those who will leave in worse conditions, he says. It will certainly last the whole weekend, because it will take a long time to fix it's a day of sadness today, Ferrandu continues. He says that the job of the railways is a public service, to transport people when they need it, and today we can't do it. Ferrandu also seeks to reassure the French that thousands of people are being mobilized to fix the network, to help guide those who need help at train stations and help people get around where possible. The Paris Police Prefecture concentrated its personnel in Parisian train stations after the attacks, the Paris Police Chief told France Info Television. National Police said authorities were also investigating the incidents.